Hey guys, it's Iron Fighter here with another brand new video. I haven't been posting a lot on my channel. Mainly reasons why is that I don't have that many subscribers. I don't get that many subscribers, and I don't get that many views on my videos. But um, today, I just like to make a, a video on the Japanese line for World Tanks Xbox Edition. Of course, there are many, many other videos out there. Um, talking about the Japanese line, but I just like to make one of my very own. But anyways, um, to start off, I just like to say that all Japanese tanks, their armor is, isn't that excellent. Their armor really isn't that good. Except tier 1, the tier 1 Japanese tank, it has above average armor for uh, against all of its other tier 1 uh, opponents. Like, for example, the RO2, its maximum armor is 30 around the, all around, except the back, which is 22 millimeters. Um, the American T1 Cunningham is only 10 millimeters around uh, on all the sides. And, um, like, the Russian um, M MS-1 only has 18 uh, at its maximum. Uh, ger uh, German tanks, 14 at its maximum at its maximum. Um, the Victor is medium Mark One. It's a it's a it's medium tank, but it really doesn't have the medium armor, but uh, it's only a tier one, so I really can't complain that much. So yeah, um, sixteen millimeters for the French Renault F T and um, sixteen also for the Renault N C and um yeah. Um, also, if you ever decide to go down the, the Japanese line, you might want to consider going down the light tank line because, um, well, like I said, Japanese tanks don't have that much of good armor or excellent armor, and they'll get pinned very easily. So I'd rather have, so I'd rather have you have a tank that is likely, less likely to get pinned when, you know, it, it's a light tank, it goes fast, so people have a hard time hitting it, I guess. But I I wouldn't rather you have a slow-moving tank um, that is also likely to also get pinned. Of course, you're going to have to deal with it once you get towards uh, the Tier 5, once you get towards um, Tier 5s. So yeah, um, I am currently working on the, um, tier 8. I just got my last package yesterday, which I am very happy, yeah. <laughs> but I also have the Chinukai, and if you look at the experience points, the stars right, uh, right below the bottom of the, uh, the tank itself, it, it, um, Shows you that I have 243,000 experience, which I will use for the STB one when I get to the when I get my Type 61 fully all maxed out or all of its packages researched. And um, I know it'll take a lot of gold or um, money to uh, transfer all the experience to free experience, but um, I'll see what I can do when I get there. So, um, uh, light tanks, that's what you should go for, but I'm just going to start talking about tier 5s to, well, it depends how long, um, this video can last because the memory on my YouTube capture or my iPad isn't that much, so I might have to cut it short. I'll stop it at around like six minutes and twenty seconds, and I'll make a part two for you guys. If yeah, yeah, I'll just make a part two. Anyways, um, the Chinu is basically like the Chinu Kai, except that the Chinu Kai has more armor. But the only reason why it has more armor is because it has the turret of the Chai To. So the Chinu Kai, its health. Um, maximum hit points, um, 
Or, well, I, I can't say maximum, I guess, because there might be packages that increase its amount of hit points. But at this moment, um, it says it has 440 hit points. I'm just going to compare that to the um, the uh, M4, which also which has 400 hit points. Uh, but I I think there might be an upgrade for the M4 that may increase its health. So in a way, I would say that the Chinu has average hit points. Um, the speed 39 um 39 kilot kilometers per hour is um pretty -ish okay speed the traverse speed is 30 uh, degrees per second which is okay so i'm going to compare that to the m4 again um which from what i'm looking at i think the of course the m4 is a lot better at mo um, mobility than the Chinese, um, but anyways, um, this is all that.